I don't know if we can still do this, but it was totally freaking worth it. Totally freaking... Oh, yes! Yes! Yes, copy that spell. Copy it. Counter spell there, counter spell. Oh, yes. So What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Mattress Malone. Today I present to you Path to Exile, because there's nothing more annoying than creatures coming back and coming back like there's no tomorrow, especially those pesky rogue decks. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Mattress Malone. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. And today is a beautiful day. I want to thank all of you so freaking much. We crushed that last milestone of five freaking hundred, and then I checked my YouTube, and guys, thank you all so freaking much for 1,000 subs in not even five freaking months. I'm, I'm, I have tears in my eyes. I'm freaking glad, I'm so grateful. This is so important for me. So, as you guys know, we hit the 3,000 subs not even a week ago. I wanna thank all of you so freaking much for 5,000K, 5,000K, yeah, 5K subs, 5,000 subs in not even a year. That means so much to me. I'm very honored to do this every single day, to be here doing uh, what I love. Thank you guys and girls so very freaking much once more for the six freaking thousand. We're almost at 6,100 already. Thank you also very freaking much for 7,000 subs in not even a year. My one year anniversary will be in eight days. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much. Today is our one year anniversary. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you all so very freaking much for one year of Malone. That is crazy to me. Just freaking crazy. I can't believe it. One year already. And it is just... It flew by so fast, so much happened, so many mythic games, so many people on the channel. It is so freaking cool. So thank you also very freaking much from the bottom of my heart. Today we're not only celebrating the channel's birthday, but this awesome community's birthday. Like, all of you. All of you in the comment section, all of you in the Discord, all of my patrons and members, all of you just make this so amazing to me. This has been a long freaking time already, one year, and to be where I am right now means the freaking world to me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so very, very freaking much. I couldn't have done it all without you. When I told my girlfriend a year ago that I would be doing the channel and I said like, you know, maybe in a year I will be at a thousand, thousand five hundred, and now we're at almost seven thousand five hundred, so boom! My head is exploding every single day. I'm just super freaking grateful. That is the, the only thing I can feel right now, like gratefulness. So thank you all so very, very freaking much. And talking about thank yous, there is a new member. And uh, what a glorious day to celebrate a new member in our community. Sign in blood, thank you so very freaking much. You get the freaking special treatment with me and the Gobo boys. Are you doing fine, boys? Are you? Yeah, you good? You good? You good? You want some cake? I don't have any. So enough with the yammering. Let's get into the freaking path to exile. Year one hammering. Oh, one year. Crazy. Crazy. So the very first deck, as you maybe have seen in this little intro that I did, was a... Um, Ashiok Exile deck. I was in love with the, with the mirror from the first day that I ever played, man. It is just, oh, so beautiful. So freaking beautiful. And that is why I decided that to celebrate the one year of Malone, we are doing kind of the newest version of the deck. It is not 100% doable right now because we have no Ashiok, we have no Shark Typhoon, we have no Cling to Dust and stuff like that. 
but we have other things that are just so freaking good. Oh, and no midnight clock. We have no midnight clock. I miss you, my little midnight clock. And this is my last version of this deck until the new set comes out. It is to steal everything you own, exile everything you own. You get nothing. I get everything. I am the freaking guild kingpin. That is what I am. So Xanatar by itself. Super hard to pull off because there's a lot of removal still, so don't you forget about that. At the beginning of your upkeep you choose a target opponent. Until end of turn, uh, they cannot cast any spells, so they cannot counter nothing. And you may play the top card of their library. So, what you can do also, if their last card, if they don't have any cards in hand, and you see a land on top, just keep it there. Just keep it there. Let them draw a land. Who cares? That means our Xanatar will stay on the field one more turn. And what would go better with Xanatar than a freaking Siphon Insight? Oh, so good. So insanely good, this card. You look at the top two cards of your opponent's library, you exile one of them, the other one you put on the bottom of their library, but you may play that card forever and spend mana in any kind. Just like with the Xanatar. This is so demure. I love it. Gives me a, like Thief of Sanity vibes. But the Thief of Sanity was a 3-mana 2-2 two -two that had to attack in. You know, that is just so much better. It is just so much freaking better. But not enough with the stealing. We also got two Wandering Archaics in here. Oh, this card I have never played, but it is so beautiful. Fly the Path of the Nine Birds. Whatever is that? Yeah, that, okay. So, whenever your opponent casts an Inter Sorcery spell, they may pay 2. And if they don't, you can copy that spell and you may choose new targets for the copy. So that means if this is out, they have to spend 11 freaking mana, even more. They have to spend so much mana if they want not you to have the freaking Auron's Epiphany by yourself doubled up. That is what's up. That is what's freaking up. So, they, uh, they want to counter something. If they don't have enough mana... You just use their counter spell and counter that. That is amazing. So, whatever instant or sorcery spell they play, you can just steal it and it feels so freaking good. Trust me, it is super, super fun. And uh, yeah, even uh, the third, uh, the, the back part, which I don't think we will use. Each player looks at the top five cards of the library, reveals a land and or instant or sorcery card, puts them in their hand and the rest on the bottom and each player gains through life. Might be okay. I mean, caring is sharing or sharing is caring. I don't know English. I know, I know. And uh, yeah, it is just so good. But the avatar in my eyes is what we need here. Just so nice. If they want to remove something and they have something on the board, you can now steal the removal. Or they have to spend a lot of freaking mana to do so. And if they spend a lot of mana, they cannot do anything else. And that is just super good. So, but why is this called Path to Exile? Well, we have a lot of exiling going on. We have the Shadow's Verdict to exile the creatures. We have the Devious Cover-Up. If you counter a target spell with this, it gets exiled. Super good. We have to go blank to exile their whole freaking graveyard and two of their hands in, uh, cards in hand. And we do have the Test of Talents to exile the spell that we targeted with it. And the rest of the deck is making sure that we get there like a dress for the early game, getting rid of their card draw or of their extra turns, who knows. Something like that. We have the Shamley Boy to draw ourselves card with the Deadly Dispute. Even if we only block with this and get a treasure out of it, it's still very good. Because later with the Skullport Merchante or the Deadly Dispute, we will be able to draw cards with these treasures. Very freaking nice. And of course, we have three Memory Deluges because, let's be honest, it's one of the best cards ever printed. Like, you look at the top 11 cards in total of your library. Get out of here! You take four of them. That is like, the moment you play this a second time... You will look at like a fourth to a third of your library, depending on how many cards you already drew. <laughs> that is just so good. So freaking good. Then of course the Meetup Massacre, because let's be honest, against Mono White there is nothing better than a good old butchering Meat Hook Massacre. And yeah, that is the whole freaking deck. It is super evil, it is super fun. We have 61 cards, why? Because it's our first 
birthday. On our second birthday, we will play a 62 deck card. So amazing. Then, of course, we have three Field of Ruin, four Shipwreck Marsh, seven Swamps and Eight Islands, and we have two Hive of the Eye Tyrant because it fits the theme. It gets them to exile something out of their graveyard. Well, we exile it. It is still so good, so amazing. And, of course, a love because, let's be honest, having those blockers is just super good. And then having Planeswalker that they might attack, that, that is just so good, you know? So, yeah, this is year one of Malone. One freaking year. It is amazing to me that we're here, that we're all together, that we're having so much freaking fun here at MTG Malone. So from the bottom of my heart once more, I want to say thank you all so very freaking much. I couldn't do anything that I do without all of you. So thank you all. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you in those exiling games. One year already. <laughs> they grow up so fast. They all grow up so fast. We're up against Leuven. Oh my lord, one year. I hope you enjoyed the live stream. Let me know. Oh wow. This is so weird. Every single starting hand that I have nowadays is a two-lander. Every single one. Like, I cannot remember the last time I did not have a two-lander starting hand. Hello, hello. We do have the test of talents here. Oh my, what the heck is this? Alright. Well, that is very good for them is what it is. Very freaking good. We will keep our test of talents here. They draw a card. Are they doing anything else? I don't know. But we're siphoning inside here. Let's get the divide by zero. Let's just freaking get it. Alright, so this is where I regret not having a sideboard. <laughs> this is where I thoroughly regret it. So, what are you? Mono blue, okay. Has to attacks. We divide by zero to see a fairing werewolf here. Seems about right. So they are packing... Oh. Okay. They're packing nothing but counter spells, I reckon. But also I made them use their mana, so that is also very good. Because then I can memory deluge here. Getting myself these two, yes. Good, alright. But they're getting a lot of value from the Seafaring Werewolf here, not gonna lie, it is very brutal for us. Very, very brutal. But we do have the Test of Talent, so hey. And they're not drawing any freaking lands. So I can go with the, uh, yeah, I can do that. And then just counterspell their freaking counterspell. Oh my lord, what? Okay, did not expect that to be honest. We're doing this for one, they will counterspell it here. And then we can just test of talents whatever they bring at us. Flip the switch. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, flip the switch. You are exiled. Oh, they still had one in their hand? Alright. So they're mono blue. That is so crazy to me. So freaking crazy. So what do they have here? Just freaking mono blue tempo. Okay, well. that That is good for us, kind of. Kinda good for us. But they still have another freaking suspicious stowaway. But that also means that they cannot be playing anything else. And that is kind of what I want. Alrighty. Alrighty. I mean, this is as good as a point as any, you know? Just to get rid of all of their stuff. And exile! Push the exile button, please. They have a field of ruin now. Tempted by the Auric. Come on. Seriously? Like, seriously, come on. Seriously? Come on, game. Like, that is the third one. The third freaking one. Okay. So we're doing it. I want to get rid of this suspicious stowaway. It is just too good, you know? And we get enough mana for a counter spell anyways. So that is good. Alright, so... Right now we're just being a super annoying Demir deck, you know? Just super freaking annoying. But very soon we will be even more. 
when we start stealing their stuff. I mean, we already started stealing their stuff, so it's good. So it is okay, dokey, artichoke. Oh, they have a uh, freaking. Oh, I don't like that at all. No, I do not. Do not like it. So we're getting you back. We're getting you back. You and they scoop. And they scoop. Oh, get exiled, my friend. Get freaking exiled. Mmm, mono blue tempo. <laughs> So for the people asking for a mono blue deck, there you have it. There is your mono blue deck that will never freaking work. I hope you're satisfied. Also, is this color graded? No, it's not. It's not green enough. <sighs> Mad Dog Lotion. Yeah. Sounds kind of disgusting. I don't know why. Wow, I cannot believe it. We have three lands in hand. Three lands! This hand looks just rather bad, you know? There's not much to do here. And now I regret it th thoroughly. So we're getting rid of the Loth here. And just pray that they are playing... Oh, extra turns. Okay. Well, they're playing extra turns. There comes the rat. Yep. Who is surprised? Not me. Not freaking me. So. We will be able to get rid of their Den of the Bugbear here and get ourselves a Black Source, which is very nice. They're not doing anything. Alright, appreciate it, opponent. Really do. Spend your mana. Do it. Spend it. Spend it real good. So they're spending mana. I like that. Like that a lot. And I hope that they're just, you know, doing something freaking annoying like memory deluging. Ah, oh, MacDog Lotion. I hope you're enjoying your super fun deck. It is just so super fun. And Daki. Okay. Alright. Good, good. End of their turn, I will be siphoning inside. Just because I can. I don't think that they have two counter spells. But they have another smoldering egg. Okay. So if they now siphon inside, uh, do something against my siphon inside here, I can just Shadow's Verdict. That is very nice. There's Mari Command, yes please. Let's try it once more. Maybe they do have a counter spell now and they want to use it? That would make me very happy. They do. They do have a counter spell and want to use it. So good. So freaking good. Get screwed, Smoldering X. Your hand is empty now. Freaking empty. So, you can draw here, yes. Oh, they just have another Smoldering X. Okay. But if they draw here, well, that is it. That is kind of it. And I can bring down the Wandering Archaic. And they already uh, did some stuff here. So. Bringing down the Shamley Boy. We're bringing down the Wandering Archaic. So now they will have to pay dearly for their stuff. Unless they want me to make it myself, you know? To have it myself. Yeah, I used the Fading Hope. I really couldn't care less about that. I really couldn't care less. So every instant and sorcery that you play now will cost you, my friend, a lot at that. A freaking lot. So we still have the Siphon inside here, ready to rock and roll. We still have the Shambling guys to draw ourselves some cards with the Skullport Merchant. Fading Hope. Are you paying though? Are you now? How could they find another one? Like, come on. That is just bananas. Just freaking bananas. Seriously freaking bananas. So is your last card a Divide by Zero? 
No, it is not. Okay, very good. But it might be something annoying. But whatever it is, we still have the siphon inside, so I'm kind of okay. I just hope that I find something to destroy that... Oh, they seriously still have stuff. They seriously still have stuff. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. So their hand was freaking empty, you know? Just freaking empty. Are they paying here? They are paying. All right. So let's make sure that we find something that doesn't cost two. And whatever it is, we can freaking steal it. So, hey. Yes. <laughs> yes. A million times yes. Okay. So they really need something good here, you know? Something very nice. If they want to return something to my hand, I will freaking tax them. Because I am the tax man. I am the tax man. Yes, I am. A third fading? Are you kidding me? Come on, game. Come on. That is their third fading hope in a row. Like, what the heck, man? What the freaking heck? Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Holy smokes. Just holy freaking smokes. Okay, we're bringing down all of these. All of them. We're not attacking in right now. Holy smokes, they just threw three of them. Three Ashmouth Dragons and three Fading Hopes just the moment they needed them. Incredible. Freaking incredible. Can't believe it. So, if they want to get rid of my Shambly boys here, so be it. But I'm still kind of good. Burn down the house. They could even pay. It could even freaking pay. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Okay. Well, this is good, isn't it? It kind of is. I mean, I would lose my Shambly boys. Which is a little bit saddening. They would lose everything else. Which is totally okay to me. But we're doing it like this. They're not blocking. Okay. But goodbye, my friend. Good riddance. Good day to you, sir. Good day, I said. So, they're back to two cards. We do have the Prismari command to shoot their face. And they scoop. And they scoop. Get out of here. Freaking exit turns. I hope so much that I denied you mythic with this. I really hope. Three freaking fading hopes. Three freaking, where are they? Where's the egg? Where is it? Here it is. Three smoldering. Get out of here. Exile it all to hell. Mmm. They finally realized that there was nothing they could have done against me. Mmm. Oh, get him out of here. You see, another two lander. A nice hand. Just another two lander. But I mean, if we find one land, this hand is indeed very good. Let's be cheeky. It is the channel's birthday. I have a weird hair here. Let's... It's another one. Oh, come on. Come the heck on, game. Just the moment you finally beat one of those extra turn decks, there just comes another one. Like clockwork. Like freaking clockwork. Holy smokes. And I don't have my duress ready to rock. I do not. But we're trying with the Skyport Merchante here. The side Interesting. Pretty interesting. What are you? Let's find out what you are. Do you have more counter magic in hand? Maybe they aren't even an exoturns deck. Well, I bet they are exoturns, but some weird version of exoturns. Yeah, they are. They're just exoturns. They totally are. Evolving wild. So, we need to get ourselves some blue mana very soon. 
very, very soon. But we can do so. Yeah. Oh, it's Mill. It's Mill. Oh my lord, it's Mill. Okay. So here's one blue mana. Good. Wow, it's Mill. Okay. I really want to bring down my uh my wandering archaic here. Yeah, they're milling me now. There you go. They're exiling me while I'm doing the exile spell deck. Okay. Well, that is still all right. And uh, that is also still all right. Still 28 cards to go. Okay. Good. Mill me. Mill me harder. Okay. But we will make them pay now for milling, you know? They want to do something here? We do have the archaic. And we will start with the Devious Cover-Up next turn, so all is good. We just need to survive this turn. Alright, can you pay it? Can you? Can you pay it? Take action. Alright. They're milling me once more, don't they? Don't they? Yeah. Alright. Take action. So we're milling them first. Oh, <laughs> yes! There was so much. There was so much. I might be milling myself here as well, but that was totally worth it. Oh, we still have four cards. We do still have four cards. And now we do have the uh, the memory deluge and the devious cover up. So no matter what they do here, we can just freaking counter spell it after we copy it. Oh, that is so good. We still have four cards, but we're dead very soon. Resolve, make him pay, take action. Now, devious freaking cover up. I don't know if we can still do this, but it was totally freaking worth it. Totally freaking. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, copy that spell, copy it. Counterspell their counterspell. Oh, yes. So good. So good. Alright. I should have put more cards in here just to have them, you know? Just to freaking have them. But I didn't. That was a huge little mistake here. Okay, well, we got them next turn, you know? Unless they found a counterspell. If they don't find exactly a freaking counterspell or a freaking board wipe here, we get them next turn. And that is very good. Oh my lord, this was just so good. Countering their counter spell with my own freaking counter spell. Oh yes, that was so good. That was so good. All right, copy that spell, take action. I returned my own wandering archaic here. But they cannot do anything. All righty. They're getting in there. All we need to do is, you know, to deal him that little bit of damage here. Alright. Ending the turn. We have two cards left. Two cards. And a scoop! Oh! I milled him back so good! Oh, that was delicious! Oh, wandering archaic. You're such a good freaking card. I love it. Freaking love it. Mmm, mmm. Moto Blue Tempo, get out of here. Is it extra turns? Get out of here. And then we even got a freaking mill deck by, you know, milling them. There you go. I told you, every freaking starting hand is two lands. What the heck? But we have the Deadly Dispute. And we're up against Mono White. Finally, a through freaking end boss. Okay, let us just hope that we can use the Deadly Dispute here. And that they don't have... Oh, it's just a Sun Gold Sentinel. All right, I couldn't care less about that. Could not care less. So, depending on what they're doing, we're either siphoning inside or uh, Mitok Massacring. This is a little bit annoying. But still okay, as we can now do this. And just get rid of the Luminarch Aspirant. 
Good. Get rid of it. Get freaking rid of it. Alrighty. So, we're still a little bit in danger here. Because they might still have stuff. You know? Just good old stuff. Bring down the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. And let us steal now, so we know that they don't have anything that I don't want them to have, like the Adeline. Oh my lord. Adeline is such a top card. Such a top freaking card to have here. I will have it. So this is still okay. We can do it now for three. Which I will. Totally do. Oh no, not my siphon inside. Okay. We're doing it for three now. Getting rid of their board. Just very good. Then we will have the Adeline next turn. And then we will have stuff to even sacrifice to the uh, to the deadly dispute every time that we attack. So do you have more stuff, THP? <laughs> just another Sun Gold Sentinel. Alright. Not not surprising, you know? Just not surprising at this point. Alright, we're bringing down the Adeline. And we're still stealing stuff from you. But uh, after you attacked in. Good. Alright. So, they might have found a land here finally. They did not. So they were also screwed on the two lit. Oh my lord, that is the whole thing they did. Three Illuminarch Aspirants and... Oh my lord. That is just crazy. Just freaking crazy. Wow. So, but do they want to attack in here? Do they now? They do. They do want to attack in. There's no more cards in graveyards for you, my friend. No more. No blocks. We can take one hit here. We can. And now we siphon inside and steal even more stuff. Like maybe a Brutal Cathar. Or a Skyclave Apparition, even better. Yes, I want that. <laughs> Who is the Mono White deck now? It's me. I am the Mono White deck. Alright, they will not like this one bit. No, no, uh, uh Not one singular bit. Okay. So. They get a 2 2 back. That is alright with me. I can block this Luminarch Aspirant as long as I want. The Intrepid Adversary, no problemo for me, absolutely no problemo for me. I will steal even more stuff, you know that? I will steal just even more of your stuff. They're not attacking in, good. And I will just steal even more freaking stuff. Like my own Intrepid Adversary, yes, why not? Why the heck not? <laughs> oh, Xanatar, get in there, get freaking in there, okay. So, we attack in with the Adeline, they just block it. But if they do block it, that is alright. They would get four life back, but we get in for five. But let's get more creatures. Also, they lose a life to the Metok Massacre, so that is also alright. So, I hope I can steal him some White Source with the Xanatar. So that I will be able to uh, play the Intrepid Adversary. Oh, they will absolutely hate that. They will just absolutely freaking lutely hate that. Oh, I think they're hating already. Oh, they're not. Okay, they're here. They're here. So this will lose them six life because this also drains them, you know? So they didn't really get anything from that. But did you finally find something here? Did you now? Did you now? The Stonebinder? All right. Couldn't care less, like, seriously. <laughs> seriously. Oh, the Mall of the Skyclaves? Oh my lord, that is so brutal. Alright, let us see what else we can get. There it is, the snow-covered freaking planes. Oh, exactly what I wanted. Exactly. Well, and they scoop! And they scoop! Ow! Oh! oh. <laughs> oh my lord, Mono White, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you deserve it, you totally do. Mm -mm. So I just double checked and out of three ga uh, four games, three of them, we had freaking two land starting hands. Like what is up with that? Why, why am I getting two land starting hands? Akatuba, Akatuba, uh oh. Well, now I eat my words. <laughs> We're going first and have a freaking double freaking uh, and a triple land hand. 
Oh, does that mean we don't draw any more lands forever? And it's mono white. Okay, do they get their revenge here? Well, we will find out very soon. Let's just steal something of them immediately. Oh, yes, this is so good. This is just so good. It's a blocker. It is nice to have. They have their own clarion spirit right away. Good, why not? Why the freaking heck not? But we do as well. So, now they do have to do something. Like, if they attack in, sooner or later we will find our stuff. And that is all I care about. Finding our stuff. What can we do here? I mean, we will try to find a one drop here, of course, with the Siphon Insight. Alright, another monk. And they do have the Fateful Absence. Okay, well, that is nice. That is just freaking nice. Wow. Yeah. If we don't find a Meatok Massacre very soon, we're just very dead. What? Your go? Get screwed, man. Get screwed! Alright. So we can draw here. We have a lot of removal, so I'm not super afraid yet. Not yet, but very soon. Oh my lord, this is so bad. This is just so bad. I mean, we're blocking the Adeline Nets turn anyways. There's only treasures, right? An artifact or a creature. This is an artifact. Let's use it to draw two cards instead of one. Seems good. Seems good. Yes. Oh, come on, please. Board wipey. Board wipey wipe. All I care about is a board wipe. Maybe we can steal something amazing here. That is indeed amazing. Are we dead? Two, four, six. Seven, eight. We are. Freaking are dead. So our last chance is to block here. And uh, draw a Are you kidding me? Game. Come on. Come the freaking heck on. Okay, two, four, six, nine. So I have to block here like this. And now just pray. Just pray. Pray. Please give me one of my five board wipes here. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Freaking yes! Oh, get screwed, Mono White! Get screwed! Get freaking screwed! <laughs> Your go! Your go, my friend! Yeah, I, I couldn't care less about the Elite Spellbinder here. Even if you get rid of my loath, even if you do so, I couldn't care less. I can still play it. I can. And that is all that matters right now. Alrighty. Oh my lord. Get screwed, Mono White. Get freaking screwed. Oh, with all this card draw, it was inevitable. Freaking inevitable at some point, you know? The Luminarch Aspirant. No problemo for me here. Drawing a card. Okay. Well, we will can discard those cards. Like, absolutely. Absolutely make him discard those freaking cards. Are you attacking it? And they scoop! Get out of here! Get freaking out of here, Mono White! Mmm! Oh my lord! Oh, always dig as hard as you can. Always do it. Always pick your own freaking brain. Is there something you can do? Yes! Draw cards. Play Meatok Massacre. Mmm! Five! The freaking. Oh, yes! What a way to celebrate, my friends! What an amazing way to celebrate our one-year anniversary! 
I had a lot of fun. I really freaking did. And uh, yeah, amazing. This was just a super fun deck. A throwback to my very first deck that was also very cool. So I hope you all appreciate it just as much as I did. But before we get into the wrap up, like a freaking candy, I want to thank all of my patrons and members that made tonight's giveaway so freaking possible. If you've seen this uh, today and it's not the ninth, well, in tomorrow's video, there will be the giveaway announcement. So make sure to tune in then so that you will be informed if you won or not. And uh, yeah, so I want to thank all of my patrons and members. And uh, starting as per usual with our Zed of the Great Hearts, I want to say thanks to Randy Campbell, John, Chris Stevens, Atomatom, Vince MH, Vicky White, John Val, Felipe Rodriguez Diaz, Jeremiah Franz, Mike, Grey Wolf, Unmercy88, Steve O, Jonathan Norton, Empty Bag, Morphe, Luis Felipe Sanchez Perez, Jared Teleskevich, Ivor Tuki, Nililand One, Jose Seron, Marcario Frescas, Caleb Horst, Troy Graham, Court Du, Bandages Demander, Oran, Jefferson Perito, and Sign in Blood. A special thanks to our Gold Span Dragons, mm, Waffles, Randy K. Donald T, Jed Human, Simster 65, William Wyatt, Rico Colombaroli, Marco Marino, your boy Big Bizzle, Mr. Matt, Damien Tay, James Wade, Monkey Rage, Jack Top, Jefferson Meyer, Phil, Double OG, Raven, Chipster, Nerd, Paul English Wolf, Anima, Cthulhu in Leather, and Seelus Fox, and of course a special thanks to our Nico Bolas, God Pharaohs, Earl, Chris Katowski, Grandoff, Danny Montgomery, William Smith, Aria Wolf, The Lacrimae, Brian O'Reilly, Malchija, and Quixen, Deal. You guys and gals are pretty freaking sweet indeed. I'm so freaking grateful to have all of these amazing people support me like we're a group of 62 now. 62 patrons and members supporting me. That is amazing. Without all of you, I couldn't do all of these giveaways. I couldn't buy the new packs for the next season. So that is so much, so much appreciated. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all. So very freaking much. And if you want to check out the Patreon and the membership, there's a button below every single video that you can check out. It's easy as pie. And if you don't have any hard and cash to share, don't you worry about it, sweet summer child. There's always other ways to support the channel, like subscribing. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything. Here it is, with a little smiley. So today was amazing. If you want to play this deck, have fun. Just, uh... Be sure that you will draw two lands in the first starting hand for at least four out of five games. That is just for some reason what is happening these days. I don't know what is up with that. So could you make it more controly? Maybe. But do you want to? I don't know. It is controly enough. I feel with the test of talents for uh, instant and sorceries, with the removal for creatures, the devious cover up for planeswalkers and maybe cat wagons. That is super good. And Xanatar is just such a janky fun card. Look at him. He's licking his little teeth here. These teeth are so weird. Is he like a shark? Head? Like, I don't get it. I really don't get it. So I want to go back to this cam real quick. So, once more. If you're still here, thank you so very freaking much. You're all very special to me. And if you aren't still here, so you're missing out on a little super nice post-game uh, wrap-up. So, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, once more, I cannot express my gratitude enough. I wouldn't be here without all of you, so thank you. It, it's just... I would have given up a long time ago if there weren't people that uh, support me in the channel the comments, people that support me in the Discord, people that tell me that they like what I do. People tell me I'm the favorite content creator. You know how much that means to me? You know how many content creators are out there? You know? Do you know? Well, there's a lot. There's a freaking lot. And there's some people that I call my favorite content creators. And I can't believe that those people aren't calling them their favorite content creators, you know? That is just super crazy to me. So, yeah. It is amazing. I thank you all so very freaking much from the bottom of my heart. Once more, this is Matches Malone. And I will see you all tomorrow.